What's up, Gracie Phoenix? What's up, what's up, Mr. Epic? In the house. Now I'm Shan. Now I'm Shan, now I'm Shan. This is Wide Awake Live. Real raw, uncut. Where we talk about sex, love, and everything, everything in, in between. between. You guys, <laughs> it's hailing outside, just so you know. I'm a little concerned. My baby is probably catching some damage as we speak, so. Pray. If you see the concern in my face, that's why. I've only had my truck for about three months, so I'm not very happy right now. And if mama's not happy, ain't nobody, nobody happy. happy. What? So. Yes, yes, yes. So if y'all hear the hail, I mean, hopefully it'll pass, you know. Oh. There it is. That's it. Oh, it was over that fast. Yes. You know what that reminds me of? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Give me some. Y'all what? <laughs> if y'all didn't catch that, y'all need to <clears throat> catch on. All right. Thanks for the love and support, everybody, for tuning in and for sharing and for commenting and for being a part of our family. Our family. Yes. Our wonderful, beautiful family. Yes, all of yes. our all of our babies. All of our babies. I'm going to be the yes. baby pappy. The baby pappy? I'm going to be the baby pappy. She called me Harold. That's Harold. <laughs> I'm the wife, Nugget. <laughs> she acts like my husband, you guys. My old ass husband who bosses me around all the time. I said I wanted a snapper bottle. I didn't want it in the red cup. What you talking about? I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you said you liked the cup. <laughs> I changed my mind. I'm like, damn. <laughs> okay, I was sitting over here in the corner. <laughs> damn. I, was, I always get in trouble by you. Leave me alone. I'm bossy. Because I'm bossy. Oh, <laughs> she's, I'm bossy, but she's controlling. In a control fashion. You like it though. And she loves it too. She, yeah. It works well together. Yeah, it's a good combination. It really does. Think? Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to complain. You no know. Complaints, no complaints. We got, uh, Coast in the house. Coast, Coast, what up, what up? We got Ghana in the house, yo. What's up, Albert, all the way from Ghana. What's up? Ghana is in the building. Ghana's in the building, right, yo. Right. What time is it over there? Like, 9 in the morning? What the heck? Let us know what time it is. Tell us what time it is, you know what I'm saying? What's up, Cassie? Hi. Love you. <laughs> Miranda. <laughs> what up, boo? Yes. What yes. up, boo? We love y'all. Y'all y'all be on it, for real. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate that. Yes, I'm telling you. you. Even before the show started... Sorry. Yeah, yeah, no. And before the show started, just, you know, a messenger, people like, hey, we waiting, we ready to go, you know, it's, I'm telling you, it's just a beautiful thing. Pineapple. Pineapples. <laughs> Pretty please. Just yes, a sir. Bit of pineapples, a little bit of pineapples in our juice. And I know Tuesday is a great day for both of us. We always get so excited. But to have so many other people who are also excited, excited. to uh, just as much as we are is, you know, very much appreciated. So. This is like, we were talking about this in the car, like, Tuesdays for us is like therapeutic. It is. You know what I mean? You can just use the keyboard. <clears throat> Chris, you just use the <laughs> keyboard. But yeah, Tuesdays for us are like, there. it's just, it's therapeutic. It's like we get excited, even if we had a long day at work or, you know, we mad at somebody or something. When we come in the show, it's like, it's great. It's like a release. It's like I get to say what's on my mind and, and, Shit, I, I like it. I do too. And we look forward to seeing what you guys have to say and your input and, you know, how your week has been and what's on y'all's mind. So remember, definitely reach out, share, 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 get everybody else on the same boat and allow them to, to have a good time on Tuesdays too. Turn it up on a Tuesday, yeah. Turn it up. On a Tuesday. Yeah, so press that share button, you know what I'm saying? When you get a chance, just press share, go right to your page, you know. We we raw and gritty, so if, if you got your mama on there, you know, it might not be a good thing to do. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, if you down to share, get mm -hmm. out there, you know what I'm saying? Pass the Henry up on your page, <laughs> baby. He might pass the collection page For to For real, I know, right? Like, we're going to skip you tonight. We're going to skip you. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you, thank you. Yeah. It's been an interesting Week. week. Bay Bay. We have like the most crazy stories. Sometimes I feel like we're like on candy camera or something. You know, like you'll you'll text me or call me and I'm like, oh here we go. You know what I'm saying? Like I just know it's about to be just something juicy. Juicy! Because it's juicy! Juicy. Juicy fruit. How does it go? That's the, the notorious B.I.G. We need to get that song. Oh yeah, we do, yes, too. we do. Yeah, but it's it's been an interesting week, so yeah, alright, so we're going to talk about today, like, we're going to start off a little different today um, and go right into the, the meat. Normally we try to, like, you know, get y'all warmed up and, you know, laugh and stuff, but we got Give you a little foreplay, give but little, today... Yeah, you know what I'm saying, we're going to write USB to the penetration. <laughs> <laughs> For real. And all that sweet 
Grinding and grinding. Grinding. Dining. Oh, whining. I said grinding. <laughs> Ooh, you really on the tip. I was going to at least give you a salad or something. <laughs> a freaking appetizer. Yeah. Today, y'all ain't getting no foreplay. Y'all is we going straight to it. We're going straight to the meat, to the meat of things. So, we, we, today's show is focused around, like, respect, courtesy, decency, and class. Yeah. Um, you know, we're not perfect. We will never try to claim to be perfect. But um, we're open, honest, real. And at the same time, we try to give y'all um, a piece of us. And but I think some people kind of get the mi- r- wrong idea they behind do. like you know what our mm-hmm. show is about and what we represent. We ain't no freaks, okay? It's not like that. Get it right, you know. We 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 have you know respect for ourselves and stuff. We just talk about stuff that people talk about behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what the show is focused around. Like we're not talking about stuff that we, you know would actually do or you know maybe we mm-hmm. do in some of the stuff we do do you know and, but and even if someone is a freak we're not a sexual object and just because we could be two women who can have conversations about sex about life and about real circumstances doesn't confine us or put us into a box and that's something that people need to know and understand like there's just just like for someone who's an entertainer or an artist you know they get upset when they out with their family or they do when they thing and people want to come up and have autographs now this is a time and a place for everything when we're on the show we're giving y'all a piece of us that you know we want to share and that we want to give but when we're not on the show that doesn't just because we talk about sexual things doesn't mean that we're a sexual object thank you Period. thank you you know what i'm saying for, yeah you laid that out like i like the way she said that because i mean we get like well I haven't gotten, you know, I guess, whatever. We have collectively received, like, some very inappropriate messages, inappropriate comments, inappropriate um, (laughs) words, you know, (laughs) name-calling and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. You know, guys, show some respect here. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Put some respect. Put some respect on my name, respect on my name. You know what I'm saying? Words to your mother. What? (laughs) Words to your mother, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... How old are we? Thank you. You know what I'm How saying? Old How we? old are we? Y'all act like we in high school or something. This is real life. We yeah. are not we're not playing. This is not a game. This is something that we do because <laughs> we enjoy it and it's important to us and we're trying to shed light on real life topics. This is to help people. It's it's not just for in ent- entertainment value or t- for attention. Like we we do this because we really care and we want people to have shed light on certain issues and give people an opportunity to know that they're not by themselves so yep. just because we're talking about sexual subjects doesn't mean that we're porno stars thank you so, like and we've we, never represented ourselves as that no. so if you can't have a conversation about orgasms and sex and thank you penetration then you probably need to go to Find another show you know what i'm saying watch <laughs> something else right yeah like you know plain and simple it's it's life. We have, I mean, sex and, and orgasms. We're sexual and, beings. I mean, you know, we didn't ask for these sexual feelings. They were automatically programmed into each and every last one of us. So, mm-hmm. like, for a woman to express her sexuality, I think men kind of lose their mind when females kind of, when they express their... And mm-hmm. should, you would think that in America it wouldn't be as bad as it is. But it's like, damn, y'all, y'all back in the, like, mm-hmm. the 1800s or something? Like, grow up. Jesus. Exactly. And I think, you know, not even for just men, but women, too, there's a lot of people out there who make it so accessible that that's an expectation for a lot of men, especially when it comes to social media. Mm-hmm. You know, you have people who are send, sending uh, pictures of their kitty cat via messenger mm-hmm. and very explicit. I see a lot of stuff on my page from women who are very attractive and who seem like they have a lot going for themselves, but they're very vulgar. They're very straightforward. And I mean, mm-hmm. hey, if that's what you choose to do, by all means, I'm not here to judge. I mean, it's your life. Mm-hmm. You live it. But at the same time, not everybody is like that. And just because someone expresses themselves in, in any which way form that they want to doesn't mean that they're sexual objects. They're, exactly. You could be a stripper and not be a hoe. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you... Just because you see her walking out the parking lot don't mean that you can go up and sex in the champagne room. Like, there's levels to this shit. Thank you. So be mature enough and man enough or woman enough. enough. Because the women really are not any better. Because some of y'all be up in my inbox and be really nasty, too. That's just unattractive to me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Like, I'm 34 years old. You get to a place and point in your life where you just sending dick pics into my messenger. Like, that's not attractive to right. me. Right. Like, it's I mean. Oh, let me call him. Thank you. Like, like I'm going to call you. One. Like, that's something. Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Like, why men think that they can just do that? And I don't know if it's behind the show or just in general. You know what I'm saying? Because, men, I've had that happen to me before. You know, maybe not related to the show and stuff. But, I mean, guys, come on. Like, you know, like, yeah. I, you know, they act like teenage boys who just discovered their pee-pees. 
Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I found a pee pee. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Her a picture. I can't wait to share it with the world. No. You know what I'm saying? Grow up. Dude, we are not mm -hmm. in high school. What are you doing? Exactly. But the women are just as bad, I told you. And that's a turn off. I don't yeah. care how pretty you are. I don't care how big your titties are. Like, it doesn't, like, you can miss it. I can go to the strip club and see that. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not attractive to me at all. Like, let there be some mystery. Let there be something behind it. Where's the substance at? Like, every woman has a vagina. Every man has a dick. Like, at the end of the day, like, if there's no substance behind it, there's not anything that you bring to the table besides that, then you ain't shit. I'm sorry. Like, there's a there's a million big penises in the world. There's a million beautiful women in the world. Like, if you don't have no substance behind it, like, you should be past your whole phase. Like, you should have... Ha have been past... Like you said, you past should. your whole phase. You should be past your whole phase. I mean, especially, I mean, in our generation. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I was talking, I was talking to my son. Like, I was talking to my, I have a teenage son. I have two, ten, three teenage, oh, shit. Yeah, three. Oh, well, I was talking to one of them. <laughs> <laughs> one like, of the three. One of the three. <laughs> Don't forget about the There's little four one. There's four all together. <laughs> but, yeah, like, I was talking to one of my sons, and I was, like, we were having a conversation about relationships and stuff. And he, like, blew my mind. I was like, oh, my God, you're more mature than some of these freaking men my age. Like, mm -hmm. what are y'all drinking? What are y'all eating? What is in the water? What is wrong with y'all? Like, I mean, okay, no disrespect to the good to the good ones out there. This is no disrespect to y'all. This is just certain things that I've experienced. You know, me personally, mm -hmm. Janelle, you know, we've had some crazy experiences and stuff. And my mom is watching, by the way. So uh -oh. I'm like, oh, God. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What up, Ty? What's, What's up, up Delano? Sandy? <laughs> Aunt Sandy, love you. Darius, what up, what up? Jerome, what it do, boo? When does the whole oh, phase end, end though? though? Now, listen. Okay. By all means necessary. <laughs> If you, there's some people who don't want to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. There's some people who don't want to get married. Mm -hmm. There's some people who just want to fuck freely until they die. By mm -hmm. all means necessary, we will do that. Mm -hmm. Like, if that's what you want to do, then do it. Mm -hmm. But you have to approach people and interact with people who are on the same level as, as you, you. Period. You know what I'm saying? So, you can't talk to somebody who's like thinking about the future. You know, in the future of their relationship or a future of any type of relationship, mm -hmm. and you know, you just want to be a hoe for the rest of your life. Like it's not gonna work, and it's, mm -hmm. you're gonna disrespect her. You know what I'm saying? Or him, the other way around. Period. And listen you know? to the damn show. If you listen to the show and the things that we talk about, in the way that people articulate themselves, and you would know and understand the caliber of person that we are. So Thank never you. once have we ever put ourselves out there to say that that's something that we want, the expectations that we're looking for, or what we need. So have several seats once Thank again. You, like, there's real. just levels to this shit. So mm -hmm. pay attention. Right. You you see a picture or the way someone looks, and you get a stiff one, and all of a sudden, the, everything else go out the window. Mm -hmm. Like, don't don't be disrespectful. Right. Just like, don't be disrespectful. It's about, it's about approach. It's how you approach a woman. I mean, I had... I, again, like we were talking about, we talked about this last week, but what do we have? Um, again, we had another scenario. And again, I, this is the last time we're going to like discuss this type of stuff because we don't want to keep bringing that type of energy into this circle because we're better than that. So, but I just want to make sure that we bring it to the table. So y'all out there know in that. So just so y'all understand, if y'all try it or, you know, if people, you know, if you guys have that kind of intention and, and stuff like that, you know, you know, you know how to sit down and, and not deal with us like that. Or, you know, that if you're a woman or, you know, you can also have, you know, um, I guess what do you call it? Um, you can have a, a oh, delight. You can have a, a heads up in mm -hmm. case it happens to you, you know, what I'm saying that way you're not surprised and, and all that. So whatever, like. This guy hits me up, you know, like, he added me on Facebook, I don't know, in May or whatever, and, you know, and, and so he hits me at my inbox, and I'm like, hey, what's up, and hey, whatever, whatever, right, so mm -hmm. then, then he, uh, there's that gnat again, so then he goes, Charles. you know, who, like, Charles, that's the gnat, his name is Charles, <laughs> Charles the gnat, what up, Charles, <laughs> look, he loves the show, too, <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm gonna get a piece, oh, oh. yeah, I'm gonna write up, <laughs> That's Charles, y'all. Don't, don't I'm sorry. Don't dumb. <laughs> bye, Charles. Bye, Charles. Bye, bye, Charles. Bye, Charles. Bye, Felicia. So, yeah, but anyway, so he, you know, he tries to holler at me, whatever, whatever. And he's he's kind of, for the most part, he's pretty reasonable. He's pretty decent. He's not like, you yeah, know, he's, yeah, he, like, he ain't being nasty. He's not being mm -hmm. raunchy, whatever, whatever. So, but I go to his page just to find out who he is. I'm like, let me see who this guy is who inboxed me or whatever. So I go to view the, fa the Facebook profile and I see we have one mutual friend. 
da 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 like really though and i'm like okay like most times like you know in denver or even in you know all over globally whatever we'll have if we have friends in common it's like 150 yeah you know what i'm saying just one not one so i'm like what's Mm -hmm. up with this dude so i'm like i send her a picture of the page and she's like yeah i know him and I'm going to let you finish this. And I what? Said, so she sends me this picture, and she's like, hey, you know who this is? And I was like, here we go. I said, oh, this is about to get interesting. Now change. Now uh, change. So I'm like, yeah, I know who it is. And like, so, you know, what's good? So to make the long story short, mm-hmm. this dude's trying to holler at her and had already been trying to holler at me for months. Well, I had cut him off because it's so funny. He was being very sweet and sensual and are very respectful, mm-hmm. respectful towards mm-hmm. you. And he was like was very nice in the beginning, mm-hmm. but then started sending me all kind of pictures and videos, and I cut him off. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, nah, I'm good. And then he came back maybe a few weeks later, like, I'm so sorry, I apologize, mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. And after that, it was already done, or whatever mm-hmm. the case may be. But he was still sending me messages mm-hmm. on a consistent basis. And I'm like, what, what? How do you not know that we're, I mean... But my, like you said, there's. I think there's more even to the story, because... You have a video on your Facebook page of me and you. Yeah, my profile picture is a video of us on the show. So we got I got a profile video, not a profile picture. So I'm, oh, our sorry, pro, my yeah. profile picture is our video here live on the show. So like if he saw if he requested me, obviously he had already been talking to Janelle, so he 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 knows that we are connected somehow. Like what the f- dude really? Some people, and maybe some people are just like so absent minded and don't even pay attention. No, they know. I don't know. Uh-uh, some, no, that's what I said. There, no, there had to be they, no, no men. Which are, please, men, because that uh uh-uh, that's not acceptable, mm-hmm. and that is that is like some teenagers. Seriously, have a seat. What what what? It, what Ty what? said, "I want a woman with some history who has been through some shit." Just, uh, just so the next, oh, just so the next can just up and impress her. Okay. Ty Johnson, I want a woman with some history who has been through some shit just so the next one can just up and impress her. So, like, mm-hmm. what, what do you mean by that? You mean, like, you know, a woman that has been, you know, like like you said, through some through some stuff. She's been through some trials. She has some tribulations in her life. She, you know, she's been through some breakups, some divorces, some kids, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, like, I, I mean, are you, like, uh, saying that, you know, somebody comes through like if, if she been through all that stuff heartbreak or whatever and then you know you come through for example and then she's just like you show her a different side of of, of life a different side of relationships is that what you mean like yeah elaborate. give us a little bit more detail. elaboration so yeah. that way we're not speculating because we want especially when the men tap in yeah because and and give us their opinion that's so important to us so shout out to all the men we love y'all we appreciate y'all being on the show like that's the one thing that i do love is we do get a lot of uh, positive support from and our guys, male viewers yes. so we appreciate that Jerome Hill said, I was only asking, uh, because at 32, I've noticed it from women now more than anything. So a real woman won't act that way. Thank you for clearing that up. Oh, Definitely. Thank you. Billy B. Dondada. That's my little brother, y'all. All the way coming from Houston. What up? What up? Yeah, what's up? What's up? <clears throat> so, yeah. You know. Go ahead. But. You said 32. Yeah. Because, I mean, we're talking about the whole the whole era. Is that what he's talking about? When is the whole phase? What is, is that what he mm-hmm. said? Yeah, because like, like you said, if you're gonna be, yeah, like you said, if you're gonna be that way, mm-hmm. stick with your type. You know what I'm saying? If that's Period. if that's you know the type of people you want to be around, stop mm-hmm. dealing with you know these women who are seeking families and relationships and long term. Thank you. You know situations like that's that why it's, that's why it's so important to have a conversation instead of just jumping in someone's inbox. I mean, a lot of people date that way, so don't get me wrong. I know that social media is a big place of people meeting and greeting and getting to know each other, but get to know someone first. Ask me a few questions. Mm-hmm. You just gonna throw your Johnson in my uh, messenger Am like I? you don't know if I wanted that. Right. You don't know if I was interested in seeing that. Thank you know, you. I, like for what? Like. Have Come a conversation on. with someone have common and find sense, out though. what that person wants and what they're looking for. And you don't even have to necessarily be a hoe. If you, we've discussed this before, if you are an adult, if you're dating, if you're not in a relationship and you are doing your thing and you're doing it safely and you're doing it respectfully by all, all means, I wouldn't say that that's being a hoe. That's you being an adult and you're doing what you want to do. Right. But at the same time, like, communicate with people. Like... Hmm. People are just so absent-minded and just ignorant. Like there is, People and that's what that's what's scary. Is it the secrets? Is it the? Is, I think is it the thrill? Maybe that people don't want to say. Like, it's the ignorance. That people, could it be the thrill too, though? So if you send me a picture of your thing, no, 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 I know, no, no, I know no. What you're saying. Okay, okay. But all I'm saying is, 
even a thrill. So if you see no, that, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the thrill. I'm talking about the thrill of a guy. Um, what was I saying? The thrill of of of, of anybody, mm -hmm. a man or a woman, who is inter Who? What the heck was I saying? Damn, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. But no, no, no. It's no, it's not your fault. No, but I'm saying because I think like oh, my mom is watching, so I'm a little nervous. So <laughs> seriously, I get like flustered. Hi, mom. But no, seriously. No. <laughs> seriously though, I mean, because I think. Um, what were you saying? You were saying like how, mm -hmm. how, um, what the heck were you saying? As far as the pictures? No, oh. before that, like, well, we were talking about in, intertwine, you know, intertwine with that whole conversation with the pictures and stuff. Cause I think the pictures is like, that's, a, that's a whole nother level to me. The pictures is like taking it to, to graphic and to just, that's not even ignorance. That's just, you're just an idiot. Like straight mm -hmm. up, like that, you dismiss me with that shit. Like straight up. I'm cool. Like. I would never talk to a dude who sent me a picture of his thing in my inbox. Like, that's just never going to happen. So, you know, it, you know, approaches, whatever, whatever. But I'm saying, like, do you think that in, in, as far as, like, relationships or when you have more than one partner, like you said, when you're mm -hmm. dating, that's what we're talking about. When you're okay, dating you yeah. and you have more than one person that you're, that you're dating, you know, do you think it's the thrill that makes people not want to tell people that they're dating so they can seem like they sneak in or something? You know what I'm saying? Or, I don't think that. Because I, I don't know what to I, think. I think that people are afraid of of being turned down or someone saying, I'm not comfortable with that. So they see something that they like. They see something that they want. So once they have a conversation with someone, they're like, you know, this person's not going to be down with that, but I still want that. So mm -hmm. instead of me being honest and telling that person and seeing what they're going to say, then I'm just going to take that risk and I'm just not going to be honest about it. And that's so funny that you said that. And I'm going to hold that thought. Mm -hmm. And remember, Gary said, wait, wait, wait. You mean you don't like pictures of people's penises? No. I mean, if we're not in an re intimate relationship, I don't want to see your thing. Like, straight up. What for what? What is it going to do to me? Like, I'm, okay, men and women have two totally different brains. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mm -hmm. have to understand that. Y'all get turned on by seeing a woman bend over at work okay mm -hmm. for example i'm not saying every guy whatever okay mm -hmm. that's an example you know what i'm saying for us mm -hmm. our, our what turns us on is not just, have y'all seen that meme i mean what turns women on is mm -hmm. completely different from i mean we we there may be an occasion where we see a guy we're like damn mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying we may feel a little tingle okay yes but that's very rare you know what i'm saying what i'm saying is we don't get turned on by the same thing y'all do so if y'all mm -hmm. send us a picture of y'all's thing first of all that's inappropriate you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why you start giggling? That is just because I'm a pervert. I'm a pervert too, but I don't know you like that. Boy. I know, but not from not from a stranger, stranger. But don't get it twisted. Like if me and you was on that level, I go know, ahead. That's what I'm saying. If, if you're on the level, of hey, course, duh. I'm like, yeah, just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> man. Yeah, yeah I'm, of I'm course. Saying, hey. Men and women are different, but and me as a woman, no, if, feel free if me and you are on that if level. On, if we're on that level, that's what I'm saying. Shut up. To that's send what me I'm as saying. Many oh, me too. You so stupid. No, seriously, that's that's what I meant. Shut yeah, up. Did she just? She she did not. She just. It was cold in here a few minutes ago. Now it's hot. You know I blush. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, we got to oh god, we got to all right. Um, oh. what's up, Jackson? Jackson's watching. <laughs> we got a Philly B Dundada talking about A. Okay, what's up? And Gary mm -hmm. Loom Janelle oh, just admitted it. So, oh, boom, back Janelle to just the, the where I said, hold my thought. Yeah, so I had a friend mm -hmm. who I've known for <laughs> since I was like 21 years old. Shout out if you're watching this because I'm putting you on blast on for blast. a simple fact. Yes, because. There's just certain things that are not right. Mm -hmm. So, I had a friend that I've known for a long time. We always had, like, a very open relationship, interacted with each other, whatever the case may be. So, after many years of not seeing each other, but having a great r relationship, started talking again, just as friends. And so, as we're talking, you know, asking questions, oh, hey, I just recently went through a divorce. They had went through a divorce. Hey, are you sleeping with people? Are you talking to people? And they swore up and down, oh, the only person that I was dealing with was my ex-wife. I haven't been with anyone for months, blah, 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 blah. So then, a few days ago, me and my girl are chilling. She came over to cut my hair. Shout out to Connie. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait, she wait, she wait, cut off five change. inches. Y'all see that it's shit? It's so short now. What? I'm like, but, um, sorry. Look okay. like Vidal sat soon. <laughs> so we all chilling. He's like, yo, like, I just want to come over and say what's up. I got one of my homegirls with you. She thinks you're beautiful. Like, I want to, she wants to meet you. Cool. Whatever the case may be. 
So they come over to the house and we all outside chilling and stuff and I'm having a conversation with her, not even like that, but just mm -hmm. having a conversation. Just chilling, yeah. And I'm like, oh, so how do you know him, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, you know, we've been dealing with each other. I'm like, so are y'all intimate? Because mm -hmm. now I don't know how to slide know. some shit in there without mm -hmm. being obvious. And like, she's like, yeah. And I'm like, well, how, like recently? Mm -hmm. And she's like, yeah. And as soon as I said that, you could just feel the presence of him like, oh shit. So I turn over and I look and he just drops his head and after that i'm like yo like i'm good like i don't want to be friends we ain't got shit to talk about as my friend mm -hmm. friends. if you can't even have an honest conversation if we ain't even dealing with each other in that sense because it wasn't yeah. even like that but a you're supposed to be friends. my friend friends. and friends. you lying about who you interacting with and what you're doing I can't even trust you to be and in my, my circle. I can't even trust you to be in my, in my circle. It'll be my friend. Like, why, why would you Because you're lying about Joe Dillon's and what you doing, and we ain't even with each other on that level. Right, because like you said, you told him about what was going on in your life. Everything. Like you all the details, and that's the thing, and some women are just, like, so open and so, Too you know open. Because we just, not all women, but, I mean, shit, I know a few, you know, I'm one of them, and Janelle, you know, Miss Epic is one of them, too, like, real loyal. Real honest, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> Gary is stupid. It's my sport in the Jerry, Jerry curl. curl. Yeah, that curl and shine. What was that? Remember back in the day my mom had that so yellow no. the yellow bottle with the red writing? The the curl sheen spray was hair, hair free curl. I don't know <laughs> that one. Oh, my mom that would one. be spraying that shit her afro her. She'd be like, Really? I don't know <laughs> that one. I'm thinking about Hawaiian silky. Yeah. I don't know that one. Girl, Gary, yeah. when you gonna come on the show and quit playing? I know, right? How many times have we had this conversation? Conversation. Uh huh. Yeah, but no, seriously, man. I mean, like but you said, it, you friends. That's all it takes. 2018. Let y'all know it's real raw and uncut. uncut. If I catch you in a lie or some shit that you, you gone by, it's done. It's like, done. And you better. Be, and if you wanna even come close. Even if, even if you have intentions, if you have bad intentions, you better be a good ass liar. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Because we catch you in your I'm, I, Man, red flags for me Thank are you. like prominent. I can I can smell them, yo, straight up. When you just said that, you know what the issue is mm. with people? Mm. When you're like very honest and straightforward, yep. it's almost like an invitation where people it think is. they can it, say whatever, whatever they, they want, want to or do whatever they do whatever want they to. Want that's to. the fucking issue. That's the issue. And that's and what your, mo that's what your mom it. said, that you're too honest. That's what she said. To, to that's a fault. To a fault. Mm -hmm. To a fault. Yeah, Just because someone yeah. is open and honest and people, they want to kind of creep, creep in. Creep in there. And that... And it could be on any level. Just just because we honest and just because we are straightforward does not give you an opportunity to be on some disrespectful shit. No. Nope. And y'all need to know and let no, me no, no, not even go let me not even go there. Don't go there, don't go there. No, seriously, no. Yeah, bring it mm -hmm. down. But I don't I don't like shit like that. Like and if you man enough or woman enough to be out there doing what you do then be honest enough to own your shit period because okay. if you ask me a question I'm going to give it to you and it, you might not make you comfortable you might not like it, like it but I'm going to give you the opportunity to choose what you want to do thank you period. and that's the different that's the thing that people do not allow I, I'm glad you said that because people do not give others the opportunity to choose it's like we stuck Why? you know we can because I think because rejection is a bad thing rejection is a bad thing for some people they don't like reject me no what I'm, no I'm re I don't care re no straight up reject me yeah. because that tells me that you're not on my level that's cool with me but what I'm saying mm -hmm. is like if you reject a guy or you know somebody you, you know because he's honest with you that's what men are I think that may be something mm -hmm. that y'all I don't know please tell me is that something that is frightens y'all does it scare you guys because of the rejection if you're if you're too honest with us you know what I'm saying is that part of the reason why you just can't be straight up like sh straight up tell me what 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 do you say Gary is crazy <laughs> he said he was trying to get you to scoot the drawers to, to the, the side. side but he got caught but were you gonna give him the goods if you didn't find out he, he was, was lying? lying no a good good question no he wouldn't have caught the goods hmm. why and this not? is because, why. because of the pictures and the videos that he sent which which guy are you talking about the uh the guy that your, your was friend, trying your friend, to your friend i think this oh Oh, that is who he's talking yeah, about. So much your friend, because he was lying, yeah. Look at here, look at here. Look One at thing here, that Miss Epic does not do is go backwards. Hmm. First of all. Hmm. Second of all, Miss Epic does not go backwards. That's so, number two. Number that's one number two. and number two. I mean, and this is the thing. And even if the someone friend. had an opportunity to, to do that, based off the simple fact that, like... And people change, and this is what I tell people: if I, if you don't deal with someone on a consistent basis, basis. you don't know that person. People, right. When I was married, 
husband. Oh, that was my homegirl from high school. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that was fucking 20 years ago. You don't know her anymore. Mm -hmm. If you don't deal with someone on a consistent basis, you don't know that person. Right. And I think that's where a lot of people get it twisted and get messed up. And that's why I like to sit back in the cut and give people time and opportunity to show who they really are. Mm -hmm. So give someone just a little bit of time and they're going to show their true colors. And that's exactly what he did. And I hope you're watching this show and you feel embarrassed for what you did mm -hmm. because that's how people get AIDS. That's how People get STDs, and that's how people get caught up in situations where you got someone showing up at your doorstep because they see your car outside, mm -hmm. and they don't know who they're dealing with. People need to stop playing them games. It's yeah. 2018. Dude, it's right. not just sexual misbehavior or conduct. You're putting people in predicaments and situations that they don't need to be in. Mm -hmm. Be honest with people. Be adult enough to let people know what you're doing. Everyone who you're interacting with and, and dealing with. You know, and it's not to get on anything that's real heavy, but people lose their lives mm -hmm. behind shit like that. Yeah, we were just talking about that. There was a story. What happened? There was a girl. The girl. Rest in peace. I mean. Rest in peace. The situation that happened in Aurora, mm -hmm. and the girl was dating the guy. The guy would have been in a long-term relationship, but she was friends with the sister. The she the sister brought her over to the house. The boyfriend got upset because the baby mama or, or the long term girlfriend was at the house. Mm. Came out and shot her. Mm. Like people need to know. I got one life to live. So if you dealing with some messy ass shit and leave you me out leave of me it. out For of real. it, period. Real talk. I don't want nothing <laughs> to do with that. To do with I'm that. Like, at I don't, all. I don't there ain't there ain't nobody that, that is important. <laughs> Sorry, ain't nobody that nobody that important. Straight up, like, you, you are not that important. Who bro. are married like, in relationship? I don't mind if you dealing with anyone on a serious level, long term level. You don't want them games. Mm -mm. You really don't. I'm sorry. Like I, I know. Mean, what, like what is it now? I think there's like this. Uh, what is it? This the 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 law or whatever where the crime law. of passion. Yes, them crime of passion. Mm -hmm. Don't cross me, man. Because that's not even a law. crime of passion. You have one of your girls roll up on me, she's going to get a lesson of a lifetime. Because don't get it twisted. Just because someone is pretty and light skinned and dressed a certain type of way, I'll put the, I'll put the, hair, the whole city of Aurora, like I said once again, will learn it. I'll beat the brakes off of somebody. And we too Ooh, old. And you don't want I'm not to being be funny. Fighting. No, we like, don't you want to. But you, you have the, one, the wrong person roll up on me, you better yeah. ask somebody. Better. You better ask somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I I don't know. I go into this blackout mode. I don't remember what happened. I'm like, what happened? What is she, why is she on the floor? What I do? Girl, <laughs> I'm you serious. Like, ask I don't somebody. know. I turned into a freaking monster. Like, I was like, you girl. Said. Yeah, all right. What we got? What we got? What we got? And I'll come mm -hmm. on. Gary talking about he's going to come on. So You better come on. Who's your friend? Yuliana? Oh, Yuli. Hi. I love you. <laughs> and Keisha. And you know it is watching. Mm -hmm. How you doing? How your mama doing? Abre la puerta, por favor. Oh my God, do that again. <laughs> oh, you should hear her accent. Oh, her accent is not her act. I stopped you. You should hear my her ass? accent. You want to hear is, my ass? She's she's Peruvian. She's from Peru. Her accent is amazing. It's like the most beautiful thing that oh, you could ever hear. I never heard hear. a Peruvian accent. Oh, girl, from Peru? you fall in love. Oh, you, I have, but I don't know if I heard yours. So Yuli, yeah. we uh, need to hear your accent. She's she's like one of the dopest people. That I have ever met in my life. I'm gonna have to ask her if I can share her story because this woman is just amazing. You can, amazing. Well, you know what? You don't even have to mention her name. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. moving forward, like just you know, I don't know. Like I know, but yeah, Tayamo. Aww, Tayamo. You too. No, I'm gonna ask. Like, there's just certain yeah. people that you meet in life who are just like just dope ass souls. That's her. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Well, I would like to meet. Does she live here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Word up, Denver's in the house. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So. So we're just gonna go into like the next topic of negative posts by face by on Facebook by people, men and women. It's not just Y'all, come on. It's men too. Like it is. And you know what I hate? And I told you about this. I'm like I can't talk. I I do post some stuff every now and then. Every now and then, though. Every now and then. But Facebook used to be, like, about seeing what was going on in people's lives and pictures. Kids and, like, all and these memes now. Mm -hmm. And it's, like, so many negative memes. And some of it is funny. Don't get me wrong. But that's mm -hmm. all people do. All When I go through my timeline, me, 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 me. me oh, me. one picture. Here's me and my family on right. Father's Day. Me, 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 me. me, me. me. Like. Right. Or my punk-ass baby daddy this and that or bitches this and bitches that I can't stand that 
I can't. Dude, why do men call us that word? What is that to y'all? Why does that? Why? Okay, amongst you guys, may, I don't know. I, 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 maybe, no, I don't even think it'd be, a, whatever. What gives you the right? Like, why do y'all think that is cool? Like, and women too. Why do y'all do that? Punk ass baby daddies. Like, I, hey, I get it. You know what I'm saying? We've had some bad experiences. I can totally relate. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, everything that I put on my page, like, you know, about my exes and stuff, like, I don't, like, say bad things. I just say, mm -hmm. this is what I went through. This is my story. And I'm trying to help others. That's kind of how I express my pain. I don't, like, yeah. talk about them derogatory, in a derogatory way. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe mm -hmm. I do. But I know that I'm also, if I do, I'm also still spreading awareness to, you know, a, a domestic violence and, and, and emotional abuse and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So my posts are more like, even if they are uh, mean or whatever, they also show, they, they give you a depiction of abuse and, mm -hmm. and, and how to watch out for it in your relationships moving forward or currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of how my posts go. But I mean, my punk ass baby daddy this, and oh my god, he don't pay no child support. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we'll go to court. <laughs> what the fuck? I have people still ask me about me being married. I'm like, I'm not married anymore, and I don't. I've never posted anything negative about. And what what you post is not a negative thing. You're bringing a light to a situation. You're talking about a a situation. It's not about downing someone. So that's different. But for me, and I also hate people like, oh, well, if you have one or two baby daddies, or if you're doing this, are you doing that? There like, you go with the, the, yes. Shut, stop. Stop. Shut it stop. down. Stop like, it. everyone is so fucking opinionated. And you're the same <laughs> nigga that's rolling up to an apartment complex with 22s on your car, making $16 an, an hour. hour. Like, you know you live in some raggedy ass apartment. But then if I say that, then I'm saying? wrong. Right, right, then I'm wrong. Right. But you have a lot of women out here who are not contingent or base their life off of what they can get from anybody. I'm a single mom raising three kids. I don't get no government assistance. And even if I did, who gives a fuck? Right. Like, everyone is always just so biased and so willing to, like, point a finger at somebody. Like, you have a lot of people out here who are looking for handouts. And you have a lot of people out here who are really trying. trying to make their life work, work. Who make mistakes <laughs> or who really love somebody and gave that person an opportunity and it just didn't work. Period. Like, right, and then you have these men out there that are selling these women these fucking dreams and shit. Talking about, oh, you know, mm -hmm. I want you to have my baby. We're gonna be such a great. And you know, women like to hear that type of shit. Sorry, but that's just the way it fucking is. You, you know what I'm saying? You've so, been no, married to someone for no, years. Real shit. No, it, and it still don't work. It still don't work, and you still have kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know some people who have like, you know, four kids by you know by one husband, mm -hmm. and who just had another. You know what I'm saying? By another husband or whatever. But so fucking what? You've like, been with someone for twelve years, and they beat the shit out of you. Y'all got seven kids. That's the only person you ever been with. So is that relationship better than my relate than me having three, three kids, kids by three, three different babies? Like, like what the fuck? Because like, I chose to make the decision up. to do something different, different or to, and to say this life. ain't working and move forward and try again. Like so, I'm a hoe now for real. Okay, but your mama got five kids. You came out three that baby same daddies. Point. Thank you. So stop. You know, and what I'm still saying? at church trying to How talk to. Uh, okay, Harold, sit down, Harold. <laughs> God damn it. Like, I said, no, seriously. <laughs> that's what I hate about people in life. People are so judgmental. Mental. Relax. Like, let people do what relax, they want to. Relax, relax. It please, takes a hoe to know a hoe, ho. And guess what? At some point in time, you was a hoe. You was a hoe. Your you mama was a hoe. probably, I'm just saying, Every, your grandmama who whatever, wasn't? Who, uh, whatever. Please be the first motherfucker to raise your hand that wasn't one. Thank period. You. If you had sex outside of marriage and you weren't a virgin when you went into your partnership, guess what? You a hoe. Oh. Oh, how? Period. Male, ho. female, hoe. I hate that. So like, yeah, I, yeah, I can't stand stuff. shit like it's, that. You know, you guys, listen. We, we, look, we don't have... <laughs> Real Sorry. talk. No, no. Look, she no, no, no. I, no, <laughs> I respect that. No, straight up. Because, like, everybody wants to on somebody. Everybody wants to be judgmental. Relax. Seriously. Enjoy life. Relax. Let it go. It's not that fucking serious. And it be the main person Jesus. who have, hasn't even done anything in life that wants to sit back, you smoking your blunt on your couch and judging everyone. Guess what? I can't tell you how many countries I done been to, Thank how you. many places I done been to, my kids have been, traveled the world. Like, so guess what? My whole ass is doing everything that your ha whole ass ain't never did. So. How about that? Uh, suck on them cherries. <laughs> how they taste. Mm.
I did good. We got a couple. We got a couple comments and a couple few. No, seriously, please comment if you have something to say. No, you know what I'm saying. We we all about love here. Like we don't we don't like we don't like to be negative. We don't want to be negative. We don't want to give you guys a negative um a negative image of us. We being real, being raw, like she said, being uncut. You know what I'm saying. We telling it like it is. And we're telling you how we feel. Women are getting sick and tired of being called hoes and bitches and shit. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I was just watching this shit on Will Smith's um, fucking um, Instagram. And he, ha uh, he had a, a video of um, Jada Pinkett. Jada Pinkett. Uh -huh. And um, Easy e and, and the whole crew, right? And they were, they were doing an interview. And Jada Pinkett was like, well, based off... You know, she was really young back then. And she said, well, based off of your music, I would, you know... I, I had a, I walked in here with the intention or with the idea that you hated women mm -hmm. because of your lyrics. You know what I'm saying? And I just I felt like I didn't want to listen to your music because it was not motivational or positive for my for me as a black woman. And mm -hmm. I felt like I was being degraded and I didn't like to listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. like straight up, like and I was you know years ago I was like in the 80s, you know, or the, or the early 90s or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know when when she when that interview went down. But seriously, y'all, come on, grow up, yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's mm -hmm. it, it's all fun and games, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to be crazy, you want to be silly sometimes. Like, I don't mind to joke. I'm not tripping. If I have a homeboy, like, shut up, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Every now and then, you know what I'm saying? I, if I know he's real, I know he's not just saying that shit just, to, you know, just to sneak one in, whatever. You know, but for real, like, come on with the hoes mm -hmm. and the bitches and the shit. Like, the baby daddies, I got three baby daddies. I don't fucking care. I was married twice, you know what I'm saying? Ain't none of y'all's fucking business and shit. Like, shit don't work. I was, I was... I was cheated out of one of my marriages. One of my other marriages didn't last because the motherfucker was too controlling. I left his punk ass. You know what I'm saying? No real <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I got duped into having a baby by somebody else because he fucking put the game on me and shit. Like, motherfuckers fall for that shit. And I fell for the shit That's never life. again. Now my tubes are tight, so never again. <laughs> it will never happen again. Don't ever get it twisted. No babies are coming out of me. Ever. No more. So, what I'm saying, no, y'all, no, fuck that. No, I learned my lesson, you know what I'm saying? And, and real shit, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. it takes getting burned to realize, like, what the it fuck does. is going on? But, it I does. mean, women are, we are more, we, we are more susceptible to being duped. Label because no, To being duped because we that's love me. love. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Women, we love love. We love mm -hmm. companionship. We love to be adored. We love to have those compliments and those beautiful things said about us and to us and you know, to have a companion, blah, 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 and all this bullshit. And y'all mm -hmm. fucking, you know. You know exactly what to say and do in order to get. In order and, to get what you want. And people say, oh, well, wait six months. Oh, Steve Harvey, um, his book. You could wait a year. A year. And not what was sleep it? with was someone. It? What was it, nine the six, it's supposed to it's supposed to six months. Six months. Fuck six months. Wait no damn six months to okay, have so some wait. sex. So wait, what? I wait. So I wait six months before I have sex with someone. Wait six months before I introduce them to my kids. Like there's all these rules and stipulations, but nowadays, like people know how to play the role, and they're gonna. So if I tell someone, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm celibate. I really want to wait for the opportunity for the right one to come across. People know what to say. They know what to do. They know how to come across and manipulate a situation in order. And even even if they're not manipulating a situation, you can, because of the rules and restrictions, it confines your interactions and dealings with somebody, period. Mm -hmm. So life does not work like that. It really doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do need a phone line so y'all can call in. We do. Mm -hmm. You know what? We were thinking about getting that, Gary. Thank you. We were thinking about doing that. We got episode two coming up shortly, so uh, we will have all that in tow by that time, hopefully. What's up, flowers? What's up, woman? Brent, thank you for joining in. Yo, he in Las Vegas right now. They got like the VIP room living it up and you taking the time to, to, to watch, watch the show. show. Like, we appreciate thank that. You. Like, for real. Yeah. Gangsta rap <laughs> made me do it. Mm. Keisha. <laughs> she's, that's my cousin. She's, she's crazy. crazy. Cousin Keisha. She, I got, I got. Keisha. Hey, Keisha. <laughs> on that hooch so tonight, you, Keisha. On that hooch. You're mm. so stupid. I didn't even know hooch was a real word. It is, you? yes. It's you know, we're from the country, so. But hooch whenever, is a real word. Yeah, hooch is a real We've been down there for our like, family. Oh, it's like moonshine. Boot, boot, bootleg liquor. It is. Yeah. It's like moonshine. We'd be down there for our family reunion and shit. And they'd be like, all oh, them young kids out there drinking that hooch. And I was like, Mm -hmm. I just thought it was like a term for our family. Come to find out, like hooch is a real thing. Yeah, so really shout out to all the black people making illegal liquor. Second slang. <laughs> shout out. You know what I'm <laughs> we feel y'all struggle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but I do want to say one important thing when it comes to like all the posts and stuff that women 
or men. I see a lot more women men bashing than anything. And this is my thing. When you have kids with someone and that relationship doesn't work out, men or women, it's for your child to get to a place to know what it is that they're missing. And that's one reason I respect my mom so much because she never talks shit about my biological mm-hmm. father. She gave me an opportunity to, to figure shit out on my own. Yep. And if I asked questions, it was she would be honest with me, but she did it in, a, in the way, in the terms of a, an adult to a child. Yep. And it didn't scar me. It didn't scorn me. It gave me an opportunity mm-hmm. to, to be who I am, to be receptive to love, to not have... A negative outlook on on men or relationships and to for me to be affected by the decisions that she made because mm-hmm. it wasn't just my father it was the, the decisions that she made to be with him and that's what everyone needs to know and understand regardless of what is said or what is done during the course of a relationship both people have made a choice to interact with each other and when mm-hmm. that relationship doesn't work and there's a child that's involved Regardless of what has happened between the two of y'all, that child should not be affected or should not be put in the middle of any of that shit. That I agree period. To straight up, I agree to that too. My mom was the same way. Like my mom never talked bad about my dad. You know, I, I mean, later on in my you know later years, <laughs> which I'm in now, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying like my mom is starting to open up a little bit more. But I mean, like when I was younger, like I I never had to know about certain things about my father. There's certain things that I, I never knew, and maybe until now, you know, as an adult, as somebody who has gone through it too, who can relate, you know, I think that's a, a good time to express that type of stuff to your kids. But for me, like, mm-hmm. I talk to my kids about things, but I try to keep it on a positive tip, or not even positive, I try to keep it on an educational level, you know there what I'm saying, to where it's like they... They know that they don't say him as an a- they don't see you know someone as an asshole. They just see you know the behavior as you know as not in- inappropriate or whatever. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I don't make it about the person. I make it about the behavior. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So when I talk to my kids, it's about the behavior more so than mm-hmm. the person. Exactly. So yeah. Because when it comes to me, not even talk to my kids. I know where my downfalls are or the things that I struggle with. I'm very controlling, like you said earlier. I, I was have just playing. no, but I am. But and I have OCD. If you come to my house, you wouldn't even know that I have three kids. Mm-hmm. I'm very controlling. I have OCD because my mom always raised me in a place. Where it's like, you know what, like, your house is a reflection of who you are and where you at. So, and I'm not saying that towards anybody else, but for me, that's how I have peace. That's how I have comfort. Like, I like to have a clean house. I can't lay my head down at night knowing that I'm going to wake up to, it look like a tornado hit Mm -hmm. my house. And I feel, you know, my kids, they're kids, so they don't give a fuck about that. They don't Mm -hmm. care about the floors being swept and mopped or the, it being vacuumed or the bed being made or the dishes being done when they lay down. They're kids. (laughs) You know, and and I'm learning how to adjust and conform to that, but still allow them to know that life has rules and restrictions. And as they get older, no matter where they're at, they're going to have someone telling them what to do. So there's levels to everything. But at the same time, I have to learn and understand that there has to be a give and take in any relationship. And you know, and I talk to my kids about give and take about even in, in our relationship. Like I'm like. I talk to my kids all the time, and it sounds corny as shit, but I'm like, yo, you know, you know, consider our relationship, consider our household like train, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm the fuck, fucking conductor, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are, you know, the, the, the whatever, that rest of the train, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Without, like, y'all doing y'all, y'all's chores and doing the things that y'all supposed to do around the house, you know, there's a chain, a link missing, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit mm-hmm. ain't gonna run smoothly, so... You know, I'm like, and that, that, that's kind of corny, but I mean, I try to make sure my kids can see, like, the, you know, the bigger picture, you know, as opposed to, like, how shit can go smoother if <laughs> yeah. if everybody's doing their part, you know what I'm saying? It takes teamwork. When they said it, it takes a village to, to raise, raise a, a child. It does. What? It does. And Ooh, shout out, Father's Day just passed by. Shout out to my dad, yo. Like, Aww. my dad is not my biological father. He is Hi. my mom's childhood sweetheart. And went to the Peace Corps, came back, and my dad raised me. Like, he was there from the time my mom was pre- pregnant. And it takes not only a real man mm-hmm. to step in and, and be there for a woman and raise her kids, but to be a father. My dad has never left my side, Aww. even during the course and transition He's of so sweet. getting I divorced. Love him. Like, I love my dad. Without him, I don't know where I would be. So, like, shout out to the men out there who are doing what they're supposed to do. Shout out to the men who love their kids, who who love their women, who are willing to step up and mm-hmm. and be that positive role model and, and do like y'all don't get enough credit. You mm-hmm. know, women say we don't get enough credit. We do. 
Like, I, I feel like men really don't, don't have, have that, that support. Mm-hmm. So, shout out to all the real men out Aww. there. People who are trying to do out. the Shut right up. thing, mm-hmm. for real. No, that we was, love y'all. That was good. That was... I'm glad you said that. Thank you. Because I'm, 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 you know, I, she can come from a... She comes from a different place than I do emotionally. Like, I'm bitter, y'all. I'm sorry. I just came out of an abusive marriage. You know what I'm saying? My ex-husband was abusive, you know. So, I'm like... I'm a little bitter, you know what I'm saying? But it's not going to pass because I'm a positive person by nature, you know what I'm saying? So it's not going to stay long, but this is a phase that I have to go through and I have to grow through, you know what I'm saying, before I can become, you know, who I'm supposed to be. Because right now, like, I'm just like, I don't fucking like men. And sorry. You don't have to apologize But that. that's just how I feel right now, whatever. There's a lot of men out there who don't like women because of the shit that they, women they put them, them through. through. You, don't you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. There's a lot of fucked up men, a lot of fucked up women, a lot of fucked up individuals in general. In life. I have an uncle who is very racist, and mm. I know that. But when it comes to me, can't no one do wrong by me? Mm-hmm. You know, and that's, once again, the type of world that we live in. And, like, people don't have to be apologetic when it comes to things. My job as his family member is to show him what love is and what real love is and to be accessible to those things because a lot of people have gone through things in life that have scorned them, Mm -hmm. that have hurt them and caused Mm -hmm. them to be at a certain place. And so he doesn't have to apologize to me Mm -hmm. or anybody else. Me as his family member, it's my job to be able to allow him to understand what true love is. Period. And that goes for anybody who's ever been hurt Mm -hmm. and been put in a a situation where someone fucked them over. Like, right. it doesn't matter who you are. Hurt people hurt people. Exactly. And That's now, what can we do moving forward, forward to allow that person to not be affected? I work in the airport, and yep. I deal with assholes every single day. And you can tell they try and press my buttons, press my buttons. And one thing that I've really learned in life, and I'm thankful for, is I don't let people pull me out of character mm-hmm. because I know that it's me that will have allowed them to do that. What I try and show people is love and give them an opportunity to learn from their interactions with me. It doesn't matter who it is. Mm-hmm. You might want the opposite, but at the end of the day, what can I give you and what can I do at the end of the day to change your life? Because guess what? When Miss Epic lays her head down at night... Ha, I'm sleeping. So peacefully. <laughs> right. So peacefully. Um, Gary said, Janelle, that's true. The way you carry yourself in the streets is a reflection of yourself. Real talk. I don't have that comment. Yeah. Word Looks up. like it's raining. Be safe going home. Thank Happy. you. I love you. I love yeah, you. I love you. Thank you guys for watching and stuff. You know, we appreciate y'all's love and support. My, my mama was watching today, so I was a little flustered, you know what I'm saying? Because I get, my mom, like, we have a, a close relationship, but we're not the same, you know what I'm saying? She's a different, a different generation, you know? So me cursing and talking about sex and talking about stuff it's like you know it's a little uncomfortable i mean i talked to her about it but to be live you know to the world you know it's mm-hmm. like ah, so you know whatever excuse my flusterness today but anyway like i also want to say you know i want to release all this negative tension all this negative energy that's coming from the ignorance and, and mm-hmm. you know so we can enjoy the future moving forward everything holding me and us down you know what I'm saying? Let it go. I'm I'm not gonna dwell on that shit no more. No more am I gonna allow somebody to to take my shine and to and to and to ruin my my day and to, and you know like you said at at work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't let people, you know, mess with your head. You know you do your mm-hmm. thing and stuff. So I'm letting go right now. You know only good things happen to me. That's how I feel. You know and I have that as a big ass sticky note on my <laughs> on my wall like. Only good things happen to me, and it's really true, because only good mm-hmm. things really do happen to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, another thing I wanted to say was, um, to the ones out there who have really betrayed me, who hurt me, thank you for giving me that experience. I appreciate it. I don't know if you got the forgiving part, you know what I'm saying? Because seriously, if I hadn't went through that... You wouldn't be who you are now. I wouldn't know how to watch out for that shit in the future. Thank you mm-hmm. for showing me. Thank you for opening my eyes to the bullshit. Girls, you know no, you, you better, better watch out. Some guys, some guys are only about that thing, that thing, that thing. Oh, straight up, yo. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, Kathy said, preach. You did teach me not to let others affect myself. I do try to carry myself with pride. You do. She's a boss chick. 
What? Boss chick, Kathy. You make Kathy today. Yes! That woman works her ass off and is just an amazing person. She has taught me so much in the past two years of me knowing her. Kathy, I love you. Shout out to you. She has nice been like the second today, mom. Mm, yes. She's dope. Yes, Kathy, I love you for real. Like, you are an inspiration to so many people. Oh, my God. That's, oh, my God. I know that. That's, I see my friend, too. Tracy, you're amazing. I Forgiveness is hard. For real. Who's, oh, so Damien That's said. Kat, thank you, Kathy. When are you guys on air? This was my first time listening to you, young ladies. Every Tuesday, <laughs> 7 p.m., Real Facebook. Raw, Uncut, Facebook, QB Network. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys for watching, yo. We appreciate it. We, we you need know. some write out music. We do need some write out music, but I want to say one last thing okay. before we roll out. My vibe attracts my tribe, you know what I'm saying? And my mm. vibe is up here. So if you ain't up there, you know what I'm saying? I'm all the way up. You gotta be all the way up, you know what I'm saying? No real talk. I, I'm mm -hmm. real talk, like all this negative shit. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna. No, no. Mm -mm. Keep that shit to somebody who gives a fuck because, like, for real, for real. I'm all about enlightening myself and growing my future and making myself a better person. I'm glad I went through what I went through. Yes, it takes a long time for me to get here. It's two years for me to actually be grateful for the abusive relationship I went through because without going through that, I would have never known how to watch out for it in the future. I would never know how to cut people off when I saw red flags. Now I know, and I'm so thankful for that. So thank you guys for putting me through that. I really appreciate that. Now, it takes a while, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It does take a while to come along, but right now, I'm grateful that I went through that shit. So, straight up, what you got? Word up, Gary. Hi, mommy. Oh my god. Brenda, my, my vibe attracts my tribe. I love that. I love that too. Yeah, I Peaceful, love that too. Beautiful women. Thank you. Thank Hi, Tyra. You. That's my girl, Tyra. Big Hi. up, girl. Sound like um Eve Mubarak. What's up? What's we up? We need like a good song Yo, to go out to. We do. Can we get some pineapples up in this joint? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just turn it up. It don't even matter what it is. It's hey. a slow song. We can skip it. Yes. Yeah, Push the it. same button to go. Just use a button and skip. Boom. There you go. What you think? Yeah, no, maybe so. One more time. One more time. Sorry, y'all. We gotta ride out to something. One more. Keep going. Okay. Just keep on going. <laughs> that sounds like some Elton John or something. Elton John, y'all. <laughs> oh, there we go. I like, I like, um, turn up a little bit. Pineapples up. Pineapples up. We all the way up. Hey, big up. Oh, oh, wrong way. <laughs> wrong, wrong way. way. No. No. And Stevie wonders how he ride out. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you stupid. <coughs> Tyra, she says big up. Big up, mommy. We love you, girl. Love you too. For real. My mama was watching y'all. I was like, hi, hi, mama. Hi, mom. Straight up. So, yo. We had, yo. Yo. Hi, I'm here. Straight up. It's time to go. It's time to go. Yep. Oh, I thought mine was gone. What's the milk? Give me a paper towel. I love, love this song. I love this song. Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? Why you bother me when you know you got a woman? Why you hitting me? You know you know better. No, you know better. No, you crew better than you do. Hey, don't make me say. Hey. I can dance sitting hey. down. I can sit hey. down and there dance all day. Because I can move my legs how I want to. A good show, ladies. The growth is showing. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Aww, Gary. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> so, right out the Stevie Wonder. Shut up. Copyright issues and shit. Oh, a fetish. Uh 
Uh-huh. We were supposed to hit on that for someone that we talked to today, but we're going to leave that for next week. We, we don't like talk a about real, fetishes, yo, straight up. We, we had a mm-hmm. real conversation with someone today before we came to the studio, and we've kind of already hit on deal breakers. Mm-hmm. But what happens, like, when you really invested with someone and they tell you, yo, if you aren't going to do this sexually because... I need this. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Is the relationship over and y'all been invested for all that time? We're going to talk about that next week because I, I got something to talk about. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. I'm excited. This we definitely need a guest speaker yeah. for next week. Who want to so, be a guest? You want to be go, a guest? Who's really going to show up and be a guest speaker? Yeah, sure, we don't want yeah, someone sure. who just says it because it sounds good. So. Okay, the God bless a man that scorns a beautiful woman. Oh! Yes. Thank you. <laughs> For real, no, seriously, he 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 stumped on my soul, so thank you. <laughs> he did. He mm-hmm. took my soul and he just like he wrung it out and then he stumped on it and then he wrung it out again, straight up. So we gonna just, call them ringers. And he blew it off to the wilderness. So now it's just floating around. So I'm trying to catch it. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to catch my soul. I'm looking for it. Trust me, I'm gonna find it. Straight up, uh, uh, it's in your peripheral. It's in, it's right over. I can I can feel it. Cause it's mine, you know what I'm saying? It's a part mm-hmm. of me. It's out there. I agree. For real, for real. Straight up. Next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Y'all, we getting ready to close on. <laughs> we getting ready to close on our first season. We got two more shows. Mm-hmm. And the first season is going to end, so y'all get ready, because it's going to... Season two is going to blow y'all away. Y'all ain't even going to be ready for it. Like, it's going to be something quite amazing. Quite, um, you know when my accent comes off, then... Not even out. When my accent comes off is when it gets very serious. So get ready for season two. Two, 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 two more three. episodes. We're going to take a little break, and then we'll be back. So shout out to y'all. Share, share, share. You this can really shit. pass off as a freaking uh, English woman. I, Let me see through I that think, shit. I think I made my own language. Wait actually, I don't think it's actually English. I think it's something that's a tad bit different. But ah! if you guys are ready. Chris so, is laughing. Chris, do you like my accent? It's very authentic. It's kind of sexy. It's authentic. It's so sexy. It's like, oh my God. Like, what the? So okay, get my ready. Two more, two more episodes. And then we're going to come at you guys with something that's even better. So, get ready. Oh my God. I got to learn that shit. Straight up. You're going to teach me that shit. I'm going to learn it. All right. We out. Peace out.